Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to clip in your hair extensions and blend your hair in if you have either short or a blunt cut. Now for me, I actually love my hair super, super short. It's grown out quite a lot now, so I am in need of another haircut, but I like it super blunt on the ends. And generally, if you have a blunt cut or you have lots of hair, it is going to be harder for you to disguise your clip-in hair extensions as opposed to somebody who has longer hair where it's a lot finer on the ends or more wispy, or if you have a choppier haircut. Now this little tip and trick is super, super easy to do. For people who are beginners, it may take a little bit of practice, but it's like like anything in the world, practice makes perfect. So if you guys are interested in watching, then stick around. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below. Now, let's get into it. So what you're going to need is a tail comb or a comb of your choice. You are also going to need a heat protectant. Super important, especially if you're going to be using heat on your hair extensions and your hair. You are also going to need some bobby pins. If you can use some that are the color of your hair, even better, but really it doesn't even matter. You're going to need two clips or have many of your choice. I, this is optional, but I like to use a oil or a serum afterwards after I've styled my hair, just to sort of soften the hair extensions, blend them in, and it's giving them an all round treatment at the same time. Then you are also going to need yourself a straightener. And if you prefer to curl your hair at the end, which I highly recommend, a curling wand. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that your hair is straight. You can always leave it out of the um, blow dry after you've come out of the shower, but in saying that, your hair is also always going to be a lot fluffier, therefore it's gonna be a lot thicker without it being strained. So if you just go through, smooth it out as smooth as possible, then it's going to help with disguising your hair extensions. Now, the hair extensions that I'll be using today are the Zala hair extensions. The color that I get is the Ice Queen, um, but these are the very, very old set. I've had these for like two years, and the color scheme with Zala was a little bit different for Ice Blonde two years ago, where now the Ice Blonde come pretty much really silver and gray, and my hair's not like that. So I can get away with Beachy Blonde as well once toned, but this is Ice Queen. First thing you're going to want to do is grab your tail comb or your fingers it's definitely a preference of choice and you're going to want to take a section from just above the ears all the way around and then you're going to want to clip that top section out of the way so you're going to want to take sort of just above the ear so ear to ear You then want to clip that hair up out of the way, just like that. Now with your tail comb, I like to just sort of take sections along where I've parted the hair and I just like to tease the hair so when you do clip it up, you've got something to hold on to. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this section of hair and what we're going to do is we're going to twist it around and around and around and then we're going to clip it with some bobby pins. You want to try and get this as tight as possible. Grab a bobby pin. And secure one side. And then you're gonna to wanna to do the same on the other side. Now if you have any sort of loose bits, secure those as well. And it's gonna look something like that. And then what you wanna do is you wanna to wanna to take your two clip piece. So your two clip 
in your hair extensions is going to be the perfect length to wrap around the nape of your head because that's the most narrow part of your head. Okay, then you're going to want to clip these hair extensions right on top as to where you've twisted the hair. And there you go. And you'll see when you pull this hair forward, you're not going to have any of those shorter bits that are going to be poking out. Now you're going to want to take down the top layer of your hair and you're pretty much going to want to re repeat this step, but it's going to be slightly different. So I'll show you how. So this next step, I like to take about eyebrow to eyebrow. And same as before, wrap and clip that top layer up. Okay, so now you're going to have these front sections. You want to keep them out. So I go from just above the ear like that, flick that back. Repeat on the other side. Now, from the back with your hair that's left out, you're going to want to grab that bunch of hair again and what we're going to do is we're going to put a plait. You can do the twist method again if you like but I just find I've got so much hair a plait definitely keeps it more flush to my head. Just like that. So all this hair here, we're now going to do a plait with. You want to try and get it as tight as possible as well. Now you're going to want to also try and keep your sections as clean as possible. Therefore, you know that you're only, you know, clipping and braiding away your hair and not the extensions because that's just going to create knots and staticness. Okay, now that you have your little plait, same concept as before, you're going to twist and pin that above. Just like that. Now that you've done that, you want to take your next clip of hair extensions. So the next piece in my set is a three clip weft and you're going to just overline that exactly over the top where you've just done that braid. Okay, so now that you've done that step, you're going to want to let down the top of your hair. Okay, now you're going to want to go quite high on this one. So we're going to go probably just above the eyebrows and around.
Now our next piece is going to be a five clip weft. Now once you've got those back clips secured, what I like to do is get my tail comb and just sort of give this section here a bit of a tease at the root. This is definitely optional, but it is going to give your hair extension a cushion for it to grasp into, especially if you're going to be going out dancing and, you know, doing things with your hair extensions in. You definitely don't want them falling out. Just like so. Take that section down. Okay, now we're gonna go above quite high. So we're gonna go probably from like temple to temple. Clip that out of the way. Now same as last time, you're going to want to tease the root. Now for my next clips I have a three clip weft and I also have a two clip weft. Now my two clip weft I like to put on my right side. I've cut these to be layered into my hair. So this just goes right there. And then this three clip goes along the other side and joins and meets the other side. The other clip, sorry. And then it will look something like that from the back. Okay, we're getting somewhere now, guys. Take this top section out. Now this is gonna be our last clip that goes along the top of our head. So you're just gonna to wanna to follow that same pattern, same section as you've taken previously. The hardest part is definitely just the start and clipping out those bits of hair. Okay. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Okay, so the last two pieces of our hair extensions are gonna be our single wefts. Now you've got so much freedom with this, you can pretty much place them wherever the hell you want. Mine are slightly layered at the sides, I don't know if you can see. But when I look at my hair, it all blends really, really well. I can just see sort of these side bits here that cut off. So I usually just like to pick up a side there and that's where I can see there's some disconnection and put that piece in and same goes for the other side Now you can see that they blend so, so well. There's no disconnection. But what I do like to do is always curl my hair. I find when it's straight, you still do see those slight layers. Plus who doesn't like curls in their hair? So let's move on to that. Now my curler of choice today is the Cloud9. Cloud9 is one of my favorite brands. I use it for all my straighteners and my curling wands and my barrels. Now, of course, before you go and curl your hair, you're gonna to wanna to always use a heat protector. So this is the De Lorenzo Heat Defense. And you just want to spray your hair with that. 
Okay, so we're gonna go in and we're just gonna start taking sections of our hair. Okay, and now that you've curled your hair extensions, what I like to do is get a little bit of my oil or serum of choice, run through my hands, and just run it through the extensions. Just tussle the curls up a little bit. And you can see now that they are curled, they just blend absolutely seamlessly. No one would even know that you have hair extensions. And yeah, you get to be Rapunzel for a day. Now, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. I found the